Hi there. So today I want to show you guys how I handle Google login with GetX and Firebase. And you'll see like, for example, here I have um, the uh, user's information logged to Firebase with display name, email, photo URL. And of course, I made up a little cart here. Um, OK, so I just want to give you guys a view of how it works. So right now you can see I have two users added in here. One is my first email the other one's my other email I'm gonna add in one of my my third email here um, sign in with Google sign in and then it's gonna log this new account to Firebase you'll see in a second one moment there and you'll see I have a third entry in here and this is the email I just entered in um, so it gives all the information here so okay so I want to go over here to uh, my controller just give me a second here da, 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 controllers and I will show you how the login controller logic works um, this got really confusing I'm just kind of talking through it and not typing because I didn't want to have to like <laughs> do all this thinking again I'm not as fast as some other people are on here um, so yeah you'll see that I have it set up for coffee users uh, for this collection in Firebase to lock the information and I have you know I'm using the um, Firebase login or Google sign-in package from from pub.dev uh, but yeah this is the set initial screen so like basically if the user is null it goes to a login page um, and if it's not null it goes to the regular app page or the app setup uh, but this is the logic for Google login so I set the Google user um, and then it's just, you know, an if condition, if Google user is equal to null, then just return. Um, but yeah, I have a try catch statement here. So this, this here is what collects the information and I have a user model I made up. So this is the user model. And by the way, I'm going to put a link to my code in the description. So if you want to have this code and you want to take a further look at it, um, yeah, that would be, uh, ideal, I guess you would say. So, or if you want to use my code or use parts of my code, yeah, go ahead. So yeah, this is my map string. Uh, it logs the user ID, the photo URL, and if cart, I'm going to put reviews in later at a later time. Um, but yeah, this will all be tagged to the user because reality is I want to tag the cart to the user as well, right? So that's probably one of the more important parts is like um, the user has to be attached to their, or, or the cart, like so as the person is shopping along the um, it has to be tied to the unique user so yes this is how it's, it's handled um, and here is the login controller here so this is the the get Google login sorry the Google login method um, and then I have a sign out method here and then it, this here just keeps an update of this data so it's just like um, so it's like a stream I guess you would say um, so yeah, this is kind of how it all works. And I am going to show you, the next thing I'm gonna show you, other than the user model is, um, oh yeah, the login page. So this is how it's handled. Um, so I'm using get access, you know, so just, you, you have to use a stateless widget. Um, here it is. So I have like, you know, the, um, the box set up, so you'll see here, like when I click log out, um, it just goes to like this page like that, right? And I just click to log in with Google. Oops. Continue. Log in. And I will say that it does not create duplicate entries. So like you could actually go back and check here and everything will be okay. Like it won't create another entry. I had a problem with that and that was, well, interesting. But anyways, yeah, so I have uh, no need to register, just sign in with Google. And you'll see here when I click on the sign in button on press, it's just a login controller .google login. And this login controller, I created like an instance of it over here um, in my uh, global variables section. And then you'll see also in my main dot dart, you'll see it's like, you know, I do get dot put login controller. So that's how that works. Um, I just thought I would explain that to you guys and show it off uh, with GetX and uh, sign in with Google. Thank you.